Okay, so welcome back. It's time to put some sound on our game, and I think actually I fixed the sound recording in my setup here, so if I'm a bit louder than before, well, that's good. I hope it's a bit easier to understand. So what uh, what what we've done so far is we've made a game. You can start to see that the bare bones of a game exist here uh, to make things uh, pretty enjoyable. But every 3D game that I've ever played that I've enjoyed has had sound. So I'm just going to do a simple sound thing. What I've uh, I've loaded uh, a sound file. Uh, this is called Coins. It's a WAV file, and that can be downloaded from the website for those of you that are doing it within school. When I click on that and play that, you can hear the cha-ching, cha-ching, if you like. Okay, so there are a couple of things that we need to do. The first thing we'll go into coin scoring. This is the script here, and if you double click on it, it will open up in Mono Develop in here. And there are two lines of code that we need to put in. We need to have a variable, and the variable is going to be audio uh, clip, like so. We'll define what that audio clip is later on, and then down here when there is this trigger called uh, for a collider we want to increase the score when we're increasing the score we want to also have uh, audio play and the audio will play whatever has been called for there so we'll save that one that one's done so that is already that coin scoring script is already added onto the player that we have which is here Okay, so in here we need to add a component, we need to go to audio and add an audio listener. And the audio listener is in here, and we can open that. Uh, <coughs> it's had an audio source, my bad. So let's get rid of that, click on that and remove component. Uh, we don't want this to play on awake, and we can bypass effects. Uh, and you can play around with the priorities, the sound volumes, the pitch, etc. And if we click on this target here, then we can choose the coins, which is that one there. Double click on that, and that will put that in there. Let's chuck in a save. Press save like so. Now, what should happen when I, as the player, hit the coins? It should play that uh, audio source, which we define, which is this one in here. Let's play that and see how we go. And there it is. That was pretty quiet, but it worked. And that's the zombie. If I was in the real mode, I would be dead. I'd have to turn around and waste this guy. <laughs> Okay, so that is adding a very simple sound format to our game. Thank you.